you know, work my own backyard. That's what it's all about. It's all about, and whether, whether you're a realtor or a local restaurant or a chiropractor or a local dentist, it's all right. the same. Right. Like we're on social media posting on our, our, all of our personal platforms, you know, right. Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, thinking it's actually doing something when our business is in our backyard. Right. So exactly. We have to, we have to put a little skin in the game in 2020, Heidi. I know. We have to start running Facebook ads. We have to allocate a budget for weekly, which are really monthly, which are really daily, you know, Facebook ads. That's right. how you're going to do it. Right. That's I, how I you're going to do it. There's totally get to it. it. I know. <laughs> and, and so what's, I mean, how's the marketing your area? How, how's, how's you know, it's good because it seems like everything that hits the market right now doesn't last long. I mean, even especially for listings that I've had, I've had multiple offers. They don't last more, you know, the house doesn't sit for more than 72 hours without mm -hmm. having multiple offers, mm -hmm. you know, and <clears throat> everything from the buying side, you know, and of course I'm going to revert back to my buyer that I just got done dealing with, but you know, even with that being said, it's like everything that we found, we were getting outbidded by everything that we had found. That way, this time when I went into this house, I just overbidded 10,000 because I'm like, we're going to make sure we get you into a home, you know, and we had the flexibility to do so. But yeah, if you don't have, you know, uh, you had that little flexibility to work with, then we're screwed because like I said, I made four different offers and we got, you know, dumped every time because we were just getting outbidded. So the market is still hot. Awesome. Yeah. Well, we got to, we got to run image ads. We got to run image ads and we need to target sellers. And yes. here's, here's a good strategy for you as well. Here, here could be a really, really good strategy. Do you have, or does a team member or does a broker have a seller guide? Like any kind of PDF, any kind of tip sheet, any kind of. Yeah, I'm sure they do. I'll have to check with my broker. I know. Um, yeah, I'm sure we do. I'm still new to this company, so I'm still kind of finding, but I can find out today. Yeah, reach out to anyone and ask anyone if they have a seller's guide. Okay. Because a seller's guide, here's what you would do. Let me give you a perfect example. This is how you can find sellers in your local area. Perfect. And it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen all through all through a Facebook ad. But mm -hmm. here's here's the Facebook ad. And the Facebook ad is targeting targeting sellers, people that are interested in selling, people that are interested in knowing how to sell at a higher, you know, value people that, that, that you can just give tips to people that are, people that are open-minded for, for suggestions and advice on how they can sell. Right. This is who we would target. So for example, if you ran a Facebook ad targeting people in that local area and sending them to a page that looks like this, like this is exactly how you would capture, capture leads. So they see a Facebook ad. Let's just say they're on Facebook they're scrolling through Facebook, they're, they're, whether they're looking at their desktop or whether they're looking at Facebook from a cell phone, they're looking at this middle news feed. And as people are just scrolling through, scrolling through, they come across an ad. Let's say, actually, that's, that's a listing, but let's just say they come across a regular ad. Let me show you a random ad. Okay. This one's a random ad. So here's a video. And look how basic these videos are, Heidi. Like, look, this is smart home buyer tips. Look, this could literally be an agent right now. I don't know who this is. First time I'm seeing this, but this could literally be an agent. How to lower right. your monthly payments on everything. If you'd like to learn more insider information or you're considering a home purchase, make sure to check out our website for the smart way to do it. Okay, so this guy is literally doing, look how low budget the video is. And this is what it takes. This is all it takes. Right. He's doing a simple video on his cell phone in his car, and the video is the video is a little over two minutes long. Mm -hmm. And when I click on learn more, he's taking me to one single page: how to buy a home under market value. And then it's a video of him, and then I click this one button, and that's where he captures the lead. Nice. Now, if I'm telling you, it's, it's that low budget, it's that simple. Like it really is that simple. Now, again, if you're not, if you're camera shy, you're not ready for the camera. That's, that's fine. But look at how, how, look, this guy yeah. <clears throat> in his hat and a freaking hoodie. Like there's nothing <laughs> professional, there's nothing yeah, right? high budget. You know what I mean? Like super, super <laughs> random, low budget, pull out your phone, honey. And let me do a quick video before we go to the soccer game. You know I mean? Like it's a, it's a real random 
low budget video, but I'm telling you, right. that's what it takes. That's all right. it takes. Right. Okay. So that's a video, but here's my point. Let's say we were, we were look, we were this text, we were targeting sellers. We were targeting people that are interested in, in selling their property in 2020. Mm -hmm. They click on learn more and we bring them to one page that looks like this. This is the one pager where they're opting in, meaning they're giving up their name and email. They come to this one page, seven simple tips to raise the value of your home before selling. Yep, it's free. I'll also send you a step-by-step -step plan to getting started. Get my seven steps here, or seven tips here. Name, email, phone number, send me the seven tips. I love this. The email, it's an email autoresponder. So the moment they enter their information, the email autoresponder sends out a PDF, whatever you, know, you have put together, five-page PDF, a 10-page PDF, maybe a three-page tip sheet, whatever it may be. Mm -hmm. It's benefits and advantages of selling your home. And any broker has some type of seller guide, right? Some right. Type of brochure, right? Um, and so the moment they enter their name and email, that email sends them that PDF right away, and then you have a handful of emails that go out over the next few days, right? So an email goes out tomorrow. Hey, John, just wanted to follow up. This is Heidi. I know you downloaded my free seller guide yesterday. Just wanted to introduce myself and let you know that I'll be available this week for a quick call. If you have any questions or any, if you need any, you know, questions answered, I'm all, I'm more than welcome to jump on a call with you. Click the link below and it'll take you to my calendar where we, where you can schedule your best time. Have a oh, great I love day. This. Have a great day. And that's email that. number one. And then two days later, another email goes out. Hey, Stacy, just wanted to follow up. I know you downloaded my seven tips sheet a few days ago. Just wanted to introduce myself, let you know that I have some time available this week. So if you're available, I'd love to chat, kind of see what your goals are and, and see what you're trying to do with your home this year in 2020. Have a great day. Click the link below to schedule your call. And that's it. email number two, right? And you have like 10 of these emails that are preset, ready to go out every other day over the next 20 days. I love it. That's, that, that's all it takes. That's literally all it takes. So right. I tell my friends and my, and my clients and, and just my real estate friends like you, your biggest, your only two expenses in 2020 should be Facebook ads and this type of landing page software because you need some type of landing page. Right. This is what we call a landing page. And, and when people get, and that's why when you look at Facebook and you scroll through Facebook and you just look at every ad, you see where they take you. So for example, here's an ad right here. Anytime you see the word sponsored, sponsored it's an ad. That's yes. an ad. We click on learn more and let's see where they're taking us. Nine out of 10 advertisers will take you to a landing page. One single page. It's very different than what your, what your website looks like. This is one page where there's only one button to click on and it's right there. I love it. So, so every ad, where realtors get it wrong is they'll run an ad and they'll, and when I click on learn more, they're taking me to their website where there's a million things to click on. Right. You need to take me to one page where there's only one button to click on. Right. And, and, and you know exactly what that person is interested in. They're interested in information on helping them sell. I love it. And, I and love so, it. And so like, let's see what another, like this, this mailer light sponsored. We click on learn more. They take me to one single page. Actually, see, okay, so as I mentioned, nine out of 10 advertisers are doing it right. They're sending you to one page. Mm -hmm. This is the one bozo that's doing it wrong. And this is what most realtors do. This is not a realtor. This is Mel or Light, whoever that is. But okay. they're, they're, they're running a Facebook ad. I click on learn more. They take me to a website where there's a million things to click on. Right. And because we like all that. have ADD, we all have <laughs> ADD and we all have a short attention span. Yes. That's where the whole term surfing the web came, came from and comes from because all we do is browse or right. browsing the internet. That's where that term browsing the internet because all we do is browse. The problem with having a million things on here is that I'm browsing, I'm browsing, I'm browsing. And before you know it, I'm gone. Yes. And this person ran an ad to get me to click and I just clicked out. So yeah, you can't totally run agree. it to a website. You have to run it to one single page to, to achieve everyone's goal, to achieve mm -hmm. your goal, which is capturing a lead, and to achieve the, the consumer's goal, which is getting exactly what they're interested in. Exactly. Right? You send me to a website, there's a million things that I'm all of a sudden interested in now. Right. Right? Because there's a million things I can click on. This guy right here, Chase Chapel, sponsored, 
there's a text. We can write something on the text. Hey, interested in selling your property and getting the seven tips on increasing the value before you do decide to sell? Click below to download my to, to download my seven page PDF giving you the top seven tips for 2020 on selling your property at the highest value possible. Click below, click learn more. I'll see you on the other page. I love that. That could be the text and it could be an image, a random image of anything. And then again, we click on learn more. This guy for sure, he has to be taking me to one page. One page. He takes uh -huh. me to one single page. There's uh -huh. a text. Here's a text right here. Download your free PDF on the seven tips on increasing the value of your property before you decide to sell it. I love and that. A few bullet points. They click on the one single button and there goes the email. There's how he's capturing leads. This guy, people that are running ads the right way are literally capturing leads all day. Right. That's all this guy's doing. Look, and for all we know, that's probably not even an image of him. Right, you know, right. That could be a random image. It could be a random image of a property or, you know, something in your backyard, whatever. Right. But it's just running the ad the right way. It's running the ad the right way. And I truly believe most don't, do not know how to run the ad the right way. So it's running the right ad the right way. And then, it, and, it, and then it's taking them to a landing page. Right. No, that's I it. love that. That's I it. love that. That's it. There's nothing else it. to it. There's literally nothing else to it. Now, now once they come here again, they enter their name and email. Some will give up their phone number, some will not. But even right. if they do not, that's fine. We have their email. Now our email autoresponder is going to be emailing them over the next few days to get them to schedule a call. That is so cool. That's the whole purpose of the email. Now you'll okay. send out an email. Like let's say, for example, you have 10 emails. Like mm -hmm. you have 10 emails and you'll sit down on a Sunday afternoon and you'll just write out 10 emails and right. short ones, you know, short ones. Like if you, if Heidi came, if Heidi saw an ad and she clicked on it and her and her husband are interested in selling sometime soon, and you came across this free PDF teaching you how to sell it at a higher value, you would, you would most likely click on it. Absolutely. Especially if it's, if it's, if it's local, it's a local business, it's a local business owner, it's someone in your backyard, you would click on it and you would come to this page and, and nine out of 10 times you'll give up your name and email. Right. But you'll Absolutely. be hesitant about giving up your phone number. Right. So it's the same thing. Most people are not going to give up their phone number right away. And that's fine. I know realtors want phone number. Like all right. you care about is someone's phone number. I get it. But on the first time around, you can't expect their phone number right away. Not everyone's going to give it up, but that's fine. We have emails set up, 10 emails, 15 emails, whatever, five emails set up over the next few days to go out to get that person to schedule an appointment. I love it. So I use, I use the system Kartra for everything. It's my landing pages and it's my email autoresponder. Mm -hmm. that's, that's it. That's all you need. That's all you need. Now, if, if you're not going to have the landing page and the email autoresponder, you could, be running, you could be running what Facebook calls lead generation ads, mm -hmm. which are just getting people to click on learn more. And then they fill out a simple form that Facebook provides. That's also, huh. that's also possible. Let me see if I can find one. Let me see if I can just find a random. Let's click on this one. Let's see if he, perfect, perfect example. Perfect example. Look, here's the ad. Here's, here's the video ad, right? Here's the text sponsored mm -hmm. value capital funding. Here's learn more. I click on learn more and Facebook provides this basic form and it's already it. pre-populated. Now, this is information that I put in because I'm hacking everyone. I'm always looking at people's ads and <laughs> opting in and seeing where they take me. Like right. that's, that's what you want to do as well. When you start seeing real estate ads, start clicking on them. And, and the ones that, that grab your attention, start clicking on them and start okay. entering. Put a different email. Don't put your real one. Put it, maybe right. put a different one and just start hacking them to see what they're doing. Right, right. I do that all data to other marketers. Right. So no, I love that. This right here is what Facebook calls lead generation. It's a specific mm -hmm. Facebook ad. And it's for it's for those of us that are capturing leads that do not have a page like this. So if we don't have a landing page, because mm -hmm. we gotta pay this is I pay ninety nine bucks a month for the landing pages and the email mm -hmm. autoresponder. Nice. But it, 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 it well pays for itself. So I don't I don't mind, but not everyone has a budget right away. So if, if we don't have that budget for this landing page and email autoresponder right away, mm -hmm. then you, you can for sure use Facebook's landing page. This is what mm -hmm. they call their landing page. Mm -hmm. And it's this form. Mm -hmm. But the only thing about this is the fact that when people do fill it out, you have to download the emails whenever yeah, you Yeah, I want. don't like that. 
So I, like, to, I like the first one that you showed me with the landing page. How much does something like that, you, you mentioned 99 bucks a month for you, but what would something like that cost me? No, for, it's the same for everyone. It's a, it's a third party company that I use. What? Um, and, it, and it's that for everyone. Well, but, David, let's get started. Yeah. I mean, it, I, I can handle 99 bucks. That's yeah, a done it, deal. And yeah. it comes with a 14 day trial. Okay. It comes with a 14 day trial. We have live training on it every week. So okay. For, I, I believe it's still twice a week. It used to be twice a week. It might be once a week now, but it, it used to be every Tuesday and Thursday, mm -hmm. but it's for one hour and it's at 4 PM Eastern time. And if you can't make it live, they send you the replay. Perfect. But I, I love it because it's, they do it's It's their customer support. And these mm -hmm. people, these website people are nerds, right? Like they're smart, like they're super smart in the most respectful way. Right. But I love those people because they answer my questions, right? Like, so if right. I have any questions, I can hop on. And it's a Q&A. So they screen share, they walk me through it. So there's a handful of people on it and everyone's getting their questions answered and we, and they do it twice a week. So the support is there, customer support, and we have a huge Facebook group and you get me. I think that's wonderful. No, I so mean, that's exactly what I need. You get so me. that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sign up for that because it's going to be the 99 bucks a month. Correct. That the one that has the landing page. Um, it's your, it's your landing page. It's your, here's, here's, here's what you want to want to really jot down. It's for your landing pages. Mm -hmm. so many landing pages as we need to create for a listing, for an open house, for a buyer, whatever. We can create as many landing pages. It's for your landing pages. It's for your email autoresponder. I love it. And it's for your calendar. Okay, cool. So, so this is an, a, a, like a quick example of a calendar. Like I use this calendar for, for all my appointments. So with you, I scheduled my, our appointment with my Kartra calendar. Right. So as people, and the whole purpose of this calendar is for the emails. As those emails are going out, we're going to provide a link in the email and say, hey, John, I know I know she downloaded my seller guide, you know, a week ago. I just wanted to follow up. I know you're super busy. I got a ton of stuff going on. It's an amazing market right now. But hey, click the link below. It'll take you to my calendar where you can schedule a, a call and we can really get your, you know, your questions answered. Click the link. Below. I'll talk to you soon. Love it. And so that's all in the email. Um, and like they can come here, they can click on it, they can schedule a call, and it goes based on their time zone. So all this I stuff, it. I can help you with all this stuff for free. Like if I always tell people, whoever uh, jumps on Kartra, uh, you get me for free. So if you need help with any of this setup, I can help you set it all up for free. So you're awesome. That's worth it as well. That's for yeah. Sure. I'm probably I'm so like yeah. I'm so not you know when it comes to something new like this, I'm gonna be scatterbrained. So I'll refer to you definitely. If I could just have you set that up, and then oh, what yeah. I'll do is I'll contact my broker today and have him forward me a PDF of the you wanted to find out. It was called the seller guide. Seller guide. Yes. So what I'll do is get that, and then once they send that to me in a PDF, I can forward the copy to you as well. Could you up? Upload that for me. I sure can. I sure yeah, can. Let's what get I, this done. What I'd like to do is I'd like to take it up a, a, a step further. Okay. And grab whatever they have, like whatever they have, like a few brochure, like a few pages of brochure, whatever they have. Sure. Grab what they have, and I'm gonna send it into my department. I have like a little design department where oh, I want them to completely rebrand that to you. Okay. Perfect. Like you know I'll what? have them rewrite it. I'll have them rebrand it and I'll have them put your name, your contact info. Like, like if it's a, if it's like a five page it. brochure, I'll put yours as a six page. Like here's, I love it. here's a profile of Heidi and with your contact information. Damn, I'm ready to get started, David. And, and everything you be, <laughs> so here's, here's the long-term vision of it all. Everything you start to put out, because first it's going to be with, it's going to be Facebook ads. We got to get to the Facebook ad side, but right. let's just say just in general, Heidi's entire marketing campaign consists of her free seller guide. Awesome. Everything evolves around that. Everything evolves in marketing around her seller guide. I and the that. reason why you want to just take that by the horn and run with it, because that is going to allow you to capture leads. Right. Like you can send anyone your link for a seller guide. You can send it to your neighbor. Say, hey, guys, I just wanted to let you know I, I came up with my, you know, a seller guide for 2020. If you guys are ever interested in, in, in selling, I put together a, a cheat sheet, you know, giving you the, some, some tips on what you can do to increase the value. I love if it. Interested, make sure to go to my link and you can download a free copy right now. 
And that would be good to even take to, um, you know, open houses and stuff and share with people. You know what I mean? Heck yeah. Or you can have your link. I would have your link ready at all times. I'd customize a link. I'd go to GoDaddy and get a new .com for like a buck. Right. And just call it Heidi's Heidi Seller Guide Tips.com. I love it. And now everything evolves around that. Whether you're at an open house, hey, just go to Heidi's sellertips.com and you could download my free PDF that I made for 2020. You're going to love it. And when oh, people go to that, you capture their lead. It's all about capturing the lead. It's all about putting that lead in an email autoresponder where I can eventually nurture that lead and get them and, and, and follow up and, and do it all automatically. This is all without Heidi lifting the finger. Right. I need no, to I... feed my, my funnel. I need to feed my landing page. I don't, yes. and that's why when you, when you post on social media, you got to micromanage it to a certain extent because you got to look for people's comments. Right. You which I do. Your, which you do. Heck yeah, you do. Mm-hmm. Which, you got to check messages all the time, right? Because you don't want to right. miss it. Right. Right. But if Absolutely. I had your lead, if I had your name and email in an autoresponder and that autoresponder was already preset, ready to put out 15 emails over the next 35 days and every email is designed to get you on the phone. This is that's it. a different game. Like that's I a think, different game. I feel that's like when this you're is going to appointments every day. Yes. And this is what I need because right now, like I said, I've got nothing in my pipeline right now, you know, and I'm just kind of frantic. So, you know, to me, and it's like, I, I start getting overwhelmed with things because it's like, okay, do I start door knocking? No, I don't want to start doing that because I can't stand door knocking. I don't like to, you know, I mean, I'll do open houses, but even at that, I feel like there's like next to none. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Not a lot of inventory out there for people to, you know, have you host that. So this is going to open up a whole new window for me, which I definitely need. Oh my God. So we need, this is going to be a game changer. We we need to look for sellers. We need to look for sellers. We need to give them something for free of value in exchange for their email. We need to build that email list to get hundreds of people on this email list that, that are literally getting emails from us automated every single day with a link to our calendar. Okay, awesome. Schedule your appointment. Click yes. here. Oh you know, my God, that's so exciting. That's, now, now, <laughs> now, now, here's the crazy part is that if you were to really feel, all it is is fueled with a Facebook ad. So if we had a Facebook ad that, were, that was going out to Folsom every single day, mm-hmm. that's where we win. Right. Absolutely. And that's why the landing page, it's really only for people that are really running Facebook ads. If you're running ads, you need a landing page. If you're right. not running ads, you don't really need a landing page. Right. You know, because it's not, because, because even though you could take this link and post it on social media, like anybody can do that. You know, right. people that say, no, David, I'd rather just post it on social media. Okay, great. Post it on your LinkedIn, post this link on your Twitter, post that link on the Facebook page and let me know how that goes. Right. It's like, dude, you're going to get like one person to see it. Like no one cares. Everyone lives in the country. That is so true. Oh my God. So the only people that need to see this page are people that are seeing my ad and that live in Folsom. That's it. That's it. The hell with everybody else. I don't care about everybody else on social media. Right. You're not going to pay the bills. Right. You know, I need to attack Folsom and, 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 and I have to do it with, with some type of ad with a Facebook ad or an Instagram ad or a YouTube ad. But right now it's Facebook ad. Right. You got to start yeah. with the Facebook ad. So I feel you got to just, that. you got to just, it's, it's January. What is it? We're, we're at the 13th. You got to just figure out what, what your budget is for the, for the month, for the next 30 days. What can we put at Facebook ads? Like, that's what you have to kind of think of. Um, and with Kartra, there's a 14 day trial. So there, you're not going to be building 99 right now. It's you have a 14 day trial to play around with it, build it out. And I'm going to help you do all that. And awesome. I already have like this page right here. I can just transfer it to your account. Once you set up the car chair, I can just transfer this entire funnel. Like cool. I have, I have this one ready for you and I have this one ready for you, um, which is this one right here. So I already have them built out. All I got to do is transfer it to you. And then now you, and then you can change the colors and I can, I can, I could do all that for you, but basic editing. I have this other page as well. So welcome, oh, I love that one. Welcome to the Folsom Homes under 300K list. Oh, Some I love it. even qualify for special financing. Send me the list. They click that. They enter their name and email. And then from there, they're on an email list. And the email autoresponder automatically sends them an email. It could send them a, a, a link to the MLS. It can send them a link to whatever the heck you got going on. It could send them a link to any other random listing. Mm-hmm. But this is for people that are that are that are looking to purchase. They're looking to purchase. Exactly. 
And so okay. they're interested in a list. They're interested in, in some type of, you know, information on, on homes. Right, right. Sell? Let me know what's for sale. You know, and this right here is a simple ad targeting Folsom, getting people to opt in. I love it. <clears throat> so now I just, all I have to do at this point is just go under that, um, Katra. Is that what you said? No, go to, go to write this down. Go to, um, in fact, let me see if I can, let me see if I can actually message it to you. I don't know why Facebook's been blocking my links. I think cause I messaged too much, but let me see if I can. <laughs> I've never even heard of that before. Right. I know that's. <laughs> I'm telling you. You must be killing it, David. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, just like you, Heidi, I come from sales. I come from real estate and mortgages. That's all I know how to do is, is try to kill it. We got to right, kill, right. kill something or be killed, Heidi. <laughs> right? I'm we serious. Have to, we have to kill. We hey, do. Let me, um, let me see if this, if this link will actually go through. Um, see, I don't know why in the heck it doesn't let you. They're blocking my emails. That's crazy. But you know what? What I'll do is I will just simply let me just email it to you. Okay. And then I just go on there and fill out what they want me to. Yeah. All you're going to do is just set up a 14 day trial. Perfect. That's all, that's all you do is just set up a 14 day trial and then, um, and, and we then, can get this, then, can we get this going today? Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> yeah. I am so excited. Oh my God, this is going to be like a savior, I swear. It I is, swear. it is. It's time to capture leads, Heidi. That's what, it, what it's all about. That's what I'm talking about. Time to capture leads. Let me, um, is your email open? Uh, it should, yes. Uh, hold Let on, me. no, it's not. You know what? It's just Yahoo. <clears throat> Actually, I thought it. You have a you have a Yahoo one. Yeah, it's just Heidi uh, Heidi dot Roderick at Yahoo dot com. Perfect. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're going to click here, and I'm going to simply link this, so it should go to H. Actually, you know what? Let me um. I could just send it through this part. Let me, um, yeah. And then once you set it up, then I can just transfer those, um, those landing pages to you. That is so cool. And they're already, they're already built for you. So cool. So let me. And then is there like a little way that you can find out how many people have viewed your website or hit oh, this? Oh, heck yeah. All the oh. analytics are here as well. <laughs> awesome. So we're going to be able to look at all that. Good. Like all of that. Okay, perfect. Okay, so this right here is Kartra. And then also, you know what? Let me also put in here, I might as well do it now. Let me, because I want you to register for the actual Trial. weekly calls. Well, no, okay. the, the actual weekly calls. Perfect. Because you have to you have to register for it. So let me... Oh, this is going to be awesome. Yeah, Tuesday the 14th. Oh, perfect. So it looks like, yeah, it looks like join us for all things Kartra every Tuesday and Thursday. At 1. So at, at 4 p.m. Eastern. Or actually, we're, yeah, you're Pacific. Yeah, 1 p.m. But again, if you can't make it live, I highly encourage you to at least jump on a couple live ones. But if you can't, they send you the replay. Perfect. But just make sure you watch it. It's, an, it's only an hour long. You'll learn so much. And, oh, I bet. And at the end of it all, this stuff is basic. It's a landing page and an email autoresponder and your awesome. calendar. Like okay, that, cool. that's what we're really going to leverage this for. So, okay. um, register, register for weekly calls. Okay. So that is going to be this one. Okay. So that's that. And then, and then what I want you to do is join Facebook group. This is the Facebook group over here. So, all of these people in this okay. group, Heidi, are literally just like us, you and I, online looking to capture leads. Perfect. That's it. That's the whole, that's this whole group. So if you ever have a random question, you can always ask it in here. And there's 15,000 people in this group. Yeah, 15,000 nice. 
15,000 people in this group and people that are super smart will reply and say, Hey, Heidi, try doing this. Oh, that is so cool. Just so much support in this actual group. So you can click, but you have to set up the 14 14 day trial first and then you can join the group. Perfect. Check it. So make sure that you um, just go in order. Yeah. So click here, register for weekly calls and then join, join the group. Perfect. And then, and then once you do that, I can transfer over the file, the, the funnels to you. And okay. you'll have, you'll have this one and Perfect. then you'll have this one as well. So this is Perfect. for sellers and this other one is for buyers. Perfect. So, Love it. We'll, so, so inside Kartra, inside Kartra, we'll be able to build a list in here. My communications we will be able to build an actual list of okay. everyone on these. So we'll know exactly who, who opted in over here. We'll know Perfect. exactly who opted in over here. Perfect. There are two different lists. And those lists are right here inside of Kartra. And then when we hover over communications and we click on sequences, your sequences is the email autoresponder. So Very everyone nice. that's on that list, what we're going to do is set up a handful of emails and put them in the sequence. Perfect. So over the next few days, they get emails from us with a link to our calendar. Perfect. And so the way I set mine up, and, and, and this is how I set up my, my whole real estate side of everything. My book, I wrote a book last year. It's a 55 page book that I put together for real estate agents, teaching them these five steps. Mm -hmm. Step one, your links, you know, step two, take your light count up. Step three, start running ads to Folsom. Step four, the landing page. Step five, the email autoresponder. Right. That's these five steps. Perfect. I literally wrote a book about it. And, And so in the book, I'm talking about it. But my point is, is that when someone goes to my page to download the book, they go to the page, they go to a page very similar to this one. Mm-hmm. They click on it, they enter their name and email, and automatically they receive my book, right? Nice. Automatically the email is going to send them the book right away. So they get right. the digital download, the PDF, they get it right away via email. Right. And over the next 10 days, I have emails set up talking about the book. Hey, Heidi, just wanted to follow up. Remember yesterday you downloaded the book? Hey, I wanted to talk about chapter one. In chapter one, I was talking about the importance of setting up all your social media links so it matches your brand. If you need any help with this, click the link below and we can always schedule a call. I'd be more than happy to help you and walk you through it. Right. That's email number one. And then email number two, hey, Heidi, just wanted to follow up. In chapter two of the social real estate agent, I was talking about running a like ad and taking your 200 likes to 1,000. Here's what I meant by it. And so what, 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 what I have set up is in my email sequence, in my email autoresponder, I'm simply talking about what they downloaded. I'm talking about the book. Right, right. So when it comes to a seller guide, the way you can, you can imagine and picture putting out your emails is talking about that seller guide. I think that's awesome. Get that seller guide and whether it's five pages, 10 pages, whatever, read it, break it down and put it in email form. Hey, John, just wanted to follow up. Hey, maybe, remember, on cha- maybe, remember on page three, I was talking about tip number three. Hey, here's what I meant by it. I and you it. literally write out three sentences and that's email number four. I love it. And, and, and it. all it is, is educating, educating that person via email about what they downloaded five days ago, mm-hmm. but also having a call to action in the email, in the email signature, having a call to action saying, Hey man, by the way, I'd love to talk to you. Let me know when you have a few minutes, click the link below and it'll take you straight to my calendar where we can schedule a call and I can get to know you even better. Have a great day. I love and, it. And again, it's with you. It's without Heidi lifting a finger. I, I want all this to be automated. Same here. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the power of this software. You know, the Kartra system, the landing page, Love the it. autoresponder, and the calendar. Okay. And, Perfect. And, 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 and at the same time, that's the power of running Facebook ads. Because we're either going to sit here and twiddle our fingers and try to post on social media. And get nothing. Or, and get nothing. Or we're going to run an ad directly to Folsom and get straight to the point. That's what I'm talking about. So it, it's just going to come down to your budget. It's going to come down to your Facebook ad budget. Okay. You know? So... so- do you know the numbers yet? Do you know where you're comfortable at spending the next 30 <laughs> days? Or are we even? Let's see. What am I, what should it, so, so uh, what is, what is a, what is a good number to run with? I guess. I mean, I always tell, I always tell my friends, you have to start with at least a minimum of, of a few hundred. Like you have to put, you have to plan and budget for at least 500 for the month. Mm-hmm. Like okay. you want to, you want to go with 500 for the month and just break that down by the week, which is 125 a week 
mm-hmm. and, and you just start running Facebook ads. You start running Facebook ads at 10, 15, 20 dollars a day, and mm-hmm. you start running ads directly to Folsom. Yeah, I think that's gonna be awesome. After I get this check and this title company, you know, gets her shit straight, I'll be able to, you know, put some money into it. Absolutely. I'll do yes. that. I'll I'll start it out with that trial as the five hundred. I'll do it, you know, for the first month and see what happens and see how many hits and stuff we get. I mean, start if the I- trial when you start our budget, when you start uh-huh. the Facebook ad campaign. Uh-huh. Because I can have I can have Karcher, I can have the whole system set up for you in literally ten minutes. Oh, nice. So, so that's not, that's not, that's not, that's not really the important thing. The important thing is, is getting this Facebook ad ready. Right. And, and having the budget. Right. So the moment we, we pull the trigger for the ad is the moment we set up our 14 day trial for okay. Kartra. Okay. That way you don't bleed into the 14 day trial. I don't want you to set up the 14 day trial and then right. you know, seven days into it. And now we're barely going to start running Facebook ads. Exactly. And what it's going to happen is um, I'm going to go down to the title company today because I have to return a check. I've never heard of this. I went down. So the lender funded, you know, Friday, right? Uh huh. So I go down to this title company. It's called Allied Title and Escrow. And anyways, I go down there and the escrow officer tells me this song and dance about how she'll only be able to cut a portion of my check and I'll have to come back Monday to get the rest. What the hell? I've never that makes that. absolutely no sense. What? I know. I mean, I worked in escrow. The, the wired funds were there. There should have been no reason why she couldn't have cut. My, it's like just weird to me. It's like I've never even heard of anything like I? that. I don't know. My, I talked to my broker and my broker even said, he goes, yeah, she's in violation. And you know, he goes, that's not good. So now I have to go down today to return the one commission check she gave me and have her recut all the checks. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think she knows what she's doing to be honest with How you. How in the hell can any of that be compliant? Like there, it's not. Those and I'm numbers gonna... were finalized the moment you guys signed. Exactly. Like Exactly. Exactly. And, and you didn't her... see that half number when you were signing, right? Like there was no, <laughs> no. short change. <laughs> no. Right? Like, so, so how can you now change? How can they now change that number and give yeah. you half of it? It's like, dude, that's so weird. Something is something's fishy, and that's when I told my broker because I even talked to the lender about that Friday. And I go, mm-hmm. I kind of told her the scenario, and she goes, Yeah, she goes, I talked to your broker, it sounds like she's kind of you know not in between the lines there. And I'm like, Yeah, so I did. I talked to my broker, and he goes, Oh, yeah, she's total, she's totally in violation. So I'm just like, You know, this woman that I've been dealing with, she can't even follow simple instruction, it's just it, it's almost sad. You know, so I'm going to have to, you know, like I said, I've got my one check sitting here in my drawer that I can't cash because my, my broker's like, well, wait a minute. You know, she's already had the commission breakdown. There's a couple checks that she needs to get to us along with the closing statements and send everything to my office so that I can make, you know, everything appropriate. I'm like, sounds simple enough. You know what I mean? But yeah, I, so I'm going to have to deal with that today. That's going to be fun. God bless you, Heidi. I don't know I how know, you do I'm it. I'm just like not even wanting to deal with any of I get myself in these situations. I don't even understand it. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's called the business. That's what it's called. It's called I the know. business. Yeah, right? That's the business. Like, it's like shit. Like, I'm telling you that it's, it's all that kind of BS. I'm going to keep it real with you, Heidi. Mm-hmm. It was all that type of BS that drove me out of the mortgage industry. Right. Like, I just couldn't stand it anymore. Like, me being a lender, like, I was a lender for six years, and I'm like, all these little hiccups would always come up, and I took it for years. Yes. yes. But at the end of the six-year run, I'm like, hell no. Like, I cannot do this anymore. Like, I hate and, – and, and a lot of us, you know, we take that commission check, and we go spend it, mm-hmm. and not any of us save, and that was me. Like, I made so much money as a lender, but I blew it all, mm-hmm. and I was always fighting for that next check. Yeah. Dressing out for that next check, and I just right. – I, I couldn't take it anymore. I know. I mm-hmm. know. It's just crazy. This is the new lender that I'm dealing with. She's new to the industry as well. Mm-hmm. So I gave her this, you know, client of mine, which had perfect credit and everything, but you know, it's just, uh, it was a nightmare towards the end. It was going too smooth to be true. You know what I mean? Everything was too good to be true. You're just sailing along and it's like, wow, everything's just cool. And then it's like the seller went ghost on us for like three days. I didn't say anything to my buyer. Oh, no way. Oh yeah. You know, and it's just, oh. and then towards the end, it was funny because he started pointing the finger at us for delaying the escrow because we were supposed to close on Monday. Well, we didn't close till Friday because why he went ghost on us and the escrow officer that we're dealing with um, couldn't get the numbers right. So the, uh, the lender reviewer had to go back and give her numbers like eight or nine different times. 
I mean, wow. she just could not get it right. Yeah. And so that was part of our frustration. So we kind of threw it back on him. Besides, there was paperwork that he needed to sign that the lender needed as a condition to fund the loan. And of course, well, he went ghost on us. So it's funny, we kind of put him in his place, but you know, it's just little hiccups like that. You know, they're not little, but we worked through it and we got, oh yeah, it needed to be so, which was good, but good. it's just frustrating when you have these, you know, now I'm still dealing with the title company. It's like, why, <laughs> you know? Oh, so it's Very frustrating. Weird. So here's the plan of action then. Why don't we do this? Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down there today. I should have a check from my broker on uh, probably no later than Wednesday, I would imagine, because I know yeah, whenever. Gonna, yeah, he's got to take copies of the check and do his little process. And yeah, in the meantime, yeah. what I'm going to do is I will find out the seller guide and um, from him and all that stuff. Do you want to touch base then again on Wednesday? Yeah, for sure. Message Let's me on Wednesday. And, okay. and here's the deal. I'm not taking on many monthly clients this year as okay. far as anyone, like real estate, whatever, any, anyone, because I'm working on an actual training course where I'm actually teaching everyone how to do this themselves. Nice. But the handful that I take on, like I want to literally crush it with them. Same you're here. Gonna be, you're going to be that handful. Like you're going to be Sweet. part of my handful. All like right. I want, we're going to start small and we're going to scale up. And we're going to kill it. And we're going to kill it. <laughs> I want to take over Folsom. So, so do I. <laughs> you're that gal. You're that gal. Let's take it over. Um, okay. And let's, and let's just, let's just crush it this year. Let's, let's and, do and, it. And, and I I'm tell you that just to, just to, just to, you know, let it be known that you're going to have like all my attention. Oh, and, sweet. Okay, David. I'm yeah. excited. A lot of yes. times you work with people and they have 50 clients and it's like, so hard to get a hold of them because they're juggling so much crap, and, right? And I don't even know. Is that even possible? It's like I read some of these, you know, agents and they're like, oh, I've had six closings this month. And I'm like, bullshit. No way. They have a team. I mean, it, it, it only happens yeah. with a team. They have an assistant. They have someone for, they, they have their own in-house team. I mean, right. that's I'm how like, that happens. Yeah. I'm like, there is no freaking way you could do that much. I mean, you know, I, I would love to see the day where I'm going to have two, three, maybe even four closings in a month. That would be awesome. But you know, like I said, I need to expand and start thinking of other avenues, i.e. the Facebook ads, because it seems like that's where the success comes from, at least from what I can see. It, it, and here's why. Here's why. And I'll end it here. The only reason why is because now you're targeting your local area. Exactly. And that's where I want to be because I feel like I'm just running everywhere and I don't want to do that anymore. Yeah. No, we got to make you the queen of Folsom. Like you All are right. the mayor of that town. Let's do it. Like that's, that's what this <laughs> Facebook advertising is going to be able to do for us. Perfect. That's so what I'm talking about. Good. Let's do it. Message me Wednesday and then we'll go from there. Perfect, David. And Sounds check your fabulous. Email. I will. Okay, cool. All right, Heidi. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. Talk to you All soon. Okay. All righty. Thanks. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. <clears> Thank <throat>